Dylan Fernandez France in second place. It was Ruben Fernandez, but it's now Chase Sexton in third position, moving past the Spaniard for the USA. And then we've got Fernandez in fourth. Lorenzo Lucurcio was up there as well, but we've got Jet Lawrence and uh, Ruben Fernandez there going bar to bar. The 115 at the back of the shot there. Jet Lawrence upgrading to the 450 this weekend. Yeah, this is going to be interesting because I want to see how Chase approaches these first few laps. I think he's going to want to be patient. But if Jet pushes the pace and he sees Jet Lawrence put a wheel on him, that's going to change the entire dynamic, and I think you'll see that urgency pick up quickly. I was talking to his dad yesterday, Marvin Muscan, looking pretty happy and relaxed down there as uh, France in second at the moment. As uh, Lawrence down the inside of Ferrez barges his way past the Spaniard, and what's that into fourth place? Uh, for Fernandez, sorry. Yeah, I don't think Ruben's going to take kindly to that. You see the retaliatory move there. Yeah, and Jet's not used to that. No, and that's not a rider you want to pick a fight with. Uh, that's a great way to break a rear wheel right there by Fernandez. But Fernandez is one of those riders that he is very likely to throw caution to the wind. So Jet doesn't really have any experience racing Ruben, maybe way back in the day in some sort of BMX series. But that's not the perfect rider. I think more than anything, I think Jet just wants to get to the front. You see him get aggressive there. And again, Ruben is just... He's aggressive. He, yeah. he is looking for a fight at all times. El Toro, the red miss came down. He was like, dude, you're going to have to work harder than that if you're going to pass me. Yeah. So uh, putting the Australian under pressure. And actually, Jet Lawrence could have done with clearing Fernandez at that point because he could have got on and uh, tried to close down Sexton ahead of him. And that's exactly what on Jet's side. He just wants to get to the rear wheel. And you see more aggression. If you're, if you're coaching Jet here, just say, listen, this isn't the guy you want to pick a fight with. Make a clean pass. Make it stick and go on. Yeah. Because you see Fernandez. He is, he's ready for this. Absolutely. And this isn't Jet style. Jet's not the one typically looking for aggression. No. Nah, but, but you wonder, this dynamic, this race, is it adding more pressure? Is it also his teammate, Chase, Chase Sexton? His way around the outside of uh, Ruben Fernandez, still parked behind there. This time he gets good drive and gets on the wheel early and makes the move stick. So Lawrence now up into fourth. Jet Lawrence, that is. Yeah, and I, I think that's a little bit of inexperience. And I hate to say that for a two-time Lucas so Oakley. Yeah, you the the windows down, blare the rhythm out. <laughs> This one's a rhythm and vibe, trust me, you might hear the rhythm outside. If you're feeling the vibe, roll the windows down, blare the rhythm.